the Cedar Cultural Center on the U's West Bank, Ojibwe culture is taking center stage. Joe Rainey is rehearsing for one of his first solo shows in his hometown, which will showcase his musical evolution as well as his indigenous roots. Rainey's style of singing is tied to the traditions of Native American powwows, but its sonic backdrop is much more modern. His wordless melodies sound as ancient as his people, but instead of being accompanied by a drum circle, his vocals float on synthesized rhythms, samples of old powwow audio recordings, and almost cinematic string arrangements. Rainey grew up surrounded by powwow singers just a few blocks from the American Indian Cultural Corridor on Franklin Avenue in South Minneapolis. Being a member of the Red Lake Band of Ojibwe, he started singing in several drum groups over the years and eventually traveled to compete in powwows across the country. While singing with one of those groups, Rainey crossed paths with Justin Vernon of Bon Iver at the Eau Claire's Music Festival in Wisconsin. The two bonded over Rainey's library of hundreds of powwows he recorded himself, and he eventually got to sing what he calls Native American riffs on tracks by Bon Iver and Chance the Rapper. experience with Vernon prompted him to create his first album, Nineta, which was released last summer and means just me in Ojibwe with Minneapolis producer Andrew Broder. Rainey says the project was an opportunity to stretch his creative muscles while introducing powwow music to a new audience. show at the Cedar, Rainey performed with a string quartet, the Owls, live for the first time. Rainey says increasing representation of indigenous artists in media and pop culture is another benefit of his work. And he hopes it inspires other Native American young people to follow in his footsteps while preserving the history of his favorite art form for generations to come. For Maury's stories, Maury Glover.
Box 9.